We've met several people who are working hard to make their personal dreams a reality. But for USC diving coach Hong Ping Lee, success is a team effort. Annenberg reporter Stephanie Wu has more. Go out and have fun. Support each other. All right. SC. SC. Hong Ping Lee has been the head diving coach at USC since 1999. Some of the best divers in the country come to USC to learn from this legendary coach. Colin Pollard is a nine-time conference finalist looking to qualify for his second consecutive NCAA championship. Pollard transferred to USC from USC Berkeley because of Coach Lee. So it's, a, it's been a really special bond between us because like, it takes a lot of trust and I know that he believes in me and I trust him to help me reach my goals. He doesn't let us get away with anything, which I think is like my favorite part about him, is he holds us to a strict standard and he makes sure that we stick to our standard and not compare ourselves to other people. Before his coaching career in America, he was one of the world's most famous diving champion from China. He started as a gymnast. I never seen diving in my life before. From the sea that I came from, there's no swim pool that we can swim from. The only time that we can swim is during summertime. And it is a pond that you can, you know, you can kind of learn how to swim, not get uh, drunk. The gymnast was also not very fond of heights. When I coach the athletes, anything that from 10 meter platform, I just tell them and share with them and say, if you don't, if you don't feel afraid, you're abnormal. So it's very, very common you're afraid because the height, you know, everyone up about 33 feet above the ground, you're looking down, the pool is so small, and then you have to go to do all those kind of somersault and twisting in the air before you into the water. That is definitely a, a scary thing to do. When China's national team talent scouts went to Lee's school to recruit divers, they were impressed with his flexibility and strength. But before becoming a government-funded athlete, young divers go through a vigorous selection process during training camp. Some kids can get past that within, you know, three or six months. It took me over a year. They still not met me. In fact, Lee failed the training camp twice, but the third time was the charm. Lee finally convinced not only his coaches, but most importantly, himself, that he is talented. At the age of 14, Lee won his first medal in the 1977 Bangkok Asian Games. Lee also represented China in the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. It was, uh, it was both exciting um, and uh, nervous and in a way of uh, uh, undergoing a lot of pressure uh, because we know what kind of expectation out there. He came in fourth, almost fulfilling his dream of winning the Olympic medal for China. And it was there during the 1984 Games in LA that Hong Ping Lee started California Dreaming. They reached out to Dr. Sammy Lee, the first Asian American to win an Olympic gold medal for the US. Dr. Lee helped him get a full scholarship to study at USC. In the 80s, it was almost unheard of in China. In his freshman year, Lee won an NCAA title in the three-meter springboard and earned All-American honors in the one-meter springboard. He started coaching when he was still a student. I always have a dream to representing USA, uh, be a coach, but, but not being an athlete. Lee reached his American dream in the 2004 Athens Olympics. He was named an assistant coach of the U.S. diving team. Two of his USC students competed in those games, Rachel Conco for the U.S. and Blythe Hartley for Canada. She won a bronze medal. Lee's coaching technique is a perfect 10. And it's been an amazing experience. He's a phenomenal coach, uh, definitely one of the best in the nation, probably in the world. He does this thing that meets called poker face, so his face will be even no matter how good or how bad the dive is. And there was one meet, though, where um, I did a really good dive and he managed to smile. <laughs> so, and that's how I knew it was really good because usually no matter how good or bad, it's the same face. <laughs> so Hong Ping has this like thing where um, like you do a good dive, you come to him, you fist bump, or just like after every dive, it's kind of like this thing where like you're there with him, like, you know, okay, go ahead, you go do it. So I guess it's just like a, uh, an individual thing that he likes to do with us. And I don't know, I like it. Why fist bump? He said, it gives athletes a little bit of toughness. It's his way of encouraging them to go after the goals. For Annenberg Media, I'm Stephanie Wu. You can also follow the team on USCAnnenbergMedia.com as they make a splash at the Pac-12 Championships in Washington this week.